can have it must be lined with pride. My name is Sarah Bishop Evans Achanga. I'm presiding bishop of Agape Fellowship Center. And today, together with my fellow bishops and pastors from Vihika, we are here in Chavakali to make our statement concerning the forthcoming reopening of churches that we agree with the government on the use of democans but we ask the government to supply the democans to churches number two we agree that the church will observe one meter social distance wearing of masks all the measures for sanitations will be put in place including the hand washing we also submit that baptism should be conducted in running waters, for example, rivers, and also Holy Communion must be allowed, being one of the ordinances of the church. But everyone must speak for themselves. We also hereby agree that families must come together in the church and sit together with their children so that no child is left at home. So when the families come in the church, they need to sit together. Also, we reject in totality the staying at home of people the age of 65 and above. However, we say and we agree that they need to be given a special service for them alone. Also, the number of church attendants will depend on the size of the church building. Following the social distancing rule, hence any limit number is hereby rejected. The church to ensure that funeral committees incorporate the Ministry of Health guidelines in social distancing and also ensure burials are conducted, not after noon that is 12 in the morning also church weddings to be attended as per church capacity but with adherence to social distancing role and mask wearing other forms of evangelism to be allowed as long as social distancing rule is observed and this will not include the mass gathering crusade. In other words, we agree with the government that we should not have mass gathering crusades, but other evangelism systems to be allowed. We like to say this, that the interreligious committee that was set in place for the reopening of churches must ensure that all guidelines they come up with are in line with the biblical principles and the correct doctrines, because that is what we subscribe to as the ministers of the gospel. While we are saying this, we are putting into consideration the churches in rural areas, which don't have a voice, very remote areas, nobody can speak on, behalf, on their behalf. And therefore we know that what we are putting across is a standard measure that will also help those church, churches that are in dear places mm. to be able to come together without any victimization. Yeah. Therefore, we as bishops and pastors in this region, which represent a big number of congregants, these are our submission. 
as all. Are we in agreement with that? Yes. yes.